Right, Beef Wellington, our main course, the Rolls Royce of the menu. Um, we've got this beautiful grass-fed beef from Bill Riley where we're going to be pan roasting first and then wrapping with our mushroom duck cell, uh, spinach and baking in the oven. First step is to make sure you season your beef. To get your pan on nice and hot. Uh, if it's not smoking then it's not hot enough. We're going to be roasting the beef in the pan just to sear the outside and then that's when we'll take it out, brush it with mustard. Then our olive oil into the pan. Once your pan's nice and hot, smoking, we're going to take the beef that we've seasoned straight into the pan. You want to literally sear the outside for about 10-15 seconds on each side until you sear everything. Got that nice beautiful circle of pink in the middle. Then with your pan, don't wash it up, just put it to one side and we can make our garnish in that pan. So once you've seared your beef, pop it in the fridge for about two minutes just to cool it down. And then take the mustard that comes in your pack and vigorously brush it on to the beef. Now if you want to and you've got some English mustard at home, then you can also add that to this as well. Take a roll of cling film. What I'm doing is I'm making a layer of cling film on top of each other. Then we've got some beautiful Parma ham from Richard Bosman. When it comes to layering the Parma ham, you need to make sure that it is as wide as the beef fillet. Then we're going to take our duck cell, which is already made. That goes on top. We then take the blanched um, Swiss chard leaves. Make sure it's nice and flat and then we can roll the beef. Place the beef on the edge of your Parma ham duck cell mix and then using the cling film just lift it up and roll it over. Now with your hands just push the air out of the cling film making a little parcel. Then once you've rolled it over just tie both ends making it nice and tight. This is going to go into the fridge for about 20 minutes just to give it enough time to set. Next up we're going to be doing the puff pastry. We actually want to roll it out a little bit thinner because as it is it will be too thick. So just a sprinkle of flour. So I'm not making the pastry too thin, I'm just stretching it out a little bit. This will actually give us a little bit of extra pastry to make sure that the beef is completely wrapped. Then we're going to take our egg wash, we're going to brush the side of the pastry. Once your beef has set in the fridge, it should be nice and cold, that will just help congeal all the fat in the mushroom that binds it together. Lay it upside down and where the seal of the cling film is, lay that facing upwards. Then just take a sharp knife, cut off the knot and then we're going to take where the seal joins together, lift that gently and then roll it over on top of your pastry, making sure that the parma ham is still sealed on the bottom. Then the next tricky part, lift the pastry while keeping the beef nice and tight and then where it joins it's going to take a sharp knife, cut along the pastry, not leaving too much of an overlap. Then with the ends, you don't need to be too fancy with this, just trim up the ends and then what you can do is just take the back of a fork and just press the ends together. Then we're going to take our baking tray that I've already put into the oven that's at 200 degrees, uh, so it's nice and hot and what that's going to do is it's going to help cook the base of the pastry uh, because it's already hot. Then we're going to take our olive oil just a little splash on top of the grease proof. Turn that over and then again on the other side. And then just taking a little turning knife, I'm going to score the top of our beef wellington very gently so that I don't pierce the puff pastry. The beef wellington. Onto our tray and take the rest of the egg wash and just brush over the top. 
Once you've brushed your beef wellington, you're going to take a little pinch of uh, rock salt and a pinch of black pepper as well. Then we go into the oven, 220 degrees for five minutes, then we're going to turn it down to 200. Okay, so our beef wellington is now cooked. We've got that beautiful golden colour all the way around. The little crisscrosses are popping out and now it's time to take it off of our tray and let it rest. While that rests, we're going to put together the garnish for the dish. So for your garnish, um, if you kept your pan, well done, you listened. Uh, heat it back up again, a little bit of olive oil and then we've got our beautiful carrots here. Take those straight into the pan. We've also got some sprigs of thyme. Okay, so carrots straight into your hot pan with a little bit of olive oil, some thyme, and then we're gonna add in some butter as well. Then we've got some carrot juice. So once your butter starts to melt, you then add a little splash of the carrot juice. Then with your pomana, this is our layers of potato and butter. This goes into the oven, the hot oven, after you've cooked your beef wellington to warm up for five minutes. Now, my favorite part, the moment of truth. So guys, I hope you enjoyed your virtual dining experience and I just want to say a big thank you from myself and my team at Grub and Vine and Chef Studio um, for supporting us during these difficult times and we can't wait to welcome you back at our restaurant and the studio and of course Culture Wine Bar when we can reopen. Thank you.